This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. On the Breakfast Club. So listen up. Nah, nah, nah. Well, it looks like Rihanna is definitely going to be featured on the soundtrack for the upcoming Black Panther sequel, Wakanda Forever. So they teased that by putting a post up on social media. If you guys saw it, there's an R. It says 10, 28, 22. And then Rihanna also commented under the post with the emoji and a heart emoji. So. Well, absence really does make the heart grow fonder because I am very, very, very interested to hear what Rihanna sounds like musically after all these years. When the last time Rihanna was on something? Khaled Wild Thoughts? Yes. I think Wild Thoughts was the last. Sheesh. Might have been. I really don't. I, I, I think, think, think I remember. I yeah. think it was. I'm very interested to hear what she comes with. All right. So I guess we'll hear soon because the 28th is in two days. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, Drake has issued a cease and desist to fake Drake because he's been getting all kinds of money, all kinds of appearance fees. And so fake Drake had also challenged the real Drake to a boxing match. I'm sure that didn't help. Drake was probably like, all right, now calm down. You've been getting your money. Uh, we ain't got to do all this. So fake Drake shared a seemingly official document on his social media that came from OVO. It said, Dear Izzy Drake, this letter serves as a notice of your unauthorized use of the trademark OVO to promote your brand and likeness, as well as your unauthorized fabrication of media, which is per se damaging and defamatory to our brand. Your conducted actions are unwarranted, unwelcome, and unacceptable. In addition, this shall serve as a pre-suit letter demanding that you provide us written assurance within seven days that you will cease and desist from making any further factually untrue statements involving OVO sound and or Drake, and that you will no longer fabricate media that portrays the aforementioned trademarks. Thank you for your cooperation. Well, cease and desist is always the calm before the storm. So that fake Drake needs to take heed because if he doesn't, he's going to get sued for millions of dollars he doesn't have. And you don't want that smoke from Canada. And I think he changed his name already. Mm-hmm. It's no longer Izzy Drake, whatever it was. I think it's something else, but yeah, he changed yeah, his, his name. Yeah, his page already. is gone. Yeah. Oh, the page is gone and everything? Yeah. yeah. Smart man. He's smart. He smart got, man. Got up out of there. Because he could have, Drake could have easily just, well, no, the cease and desist has to come first, but then you could easily just hit him with the lawsuit and just Jack them up in court. But can you um, sue somebody for, imper- like, uh, you know how they have all the impersonators yes. and stuff? If you don't use the logo and you don't, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, people impersonate people all the time. But it, I guess with his situation, it might have been different because he actually was acting like him, saying he's OVO such and such. I don't know. Getting out. shows? I'm not sure. I, I mean, know. I know you can't use that OVO logo. And I know you, but, ah, uh, It wasn't sure. even an owl. It was an eagle. <laughs> All right, Killer Mike and Mac Phipps have been unveiled as guest speakers at the Rap on Trial Symposium. That's going to be happening in New Orleans next month on November 1st at Dillard University. So that event is being held to address the issue of law enforcement and prosecutors using rap lyrics as evidence of a crime. If you're an artist, a lawyer, law student, journalist, or anyone that loves hip-hop, then you will want to be in the building. So for everybody that wants to hear more and speak more about that, you can do that in New Orleans. All right. Now, Ashanti has done an interview with Angie Martinez. That's her IRL in real life. And that full interview um, is, did it come out yesterday, last night? Yep, yesterday. Yeah, last night. And so here is, I, I saw a lot of people talking online about, you know, Ashanti speaks for the first time about Irv Gotti and she's speaking her truth. Do we have the audio? Because I don't see it. Up. No? Yes? No? Okay. Well, forget it then. Uh, and Mary J. Blige and Jill Biden are launching an American <laughs> Cancer Society ran- roundtable. Great they, show, guys. Yeah. They, they're they hosting that. According to Billboard, the Cancer Society agreed to host the event after Jill and her husband, President Joe Biden, helped bring back cancer moonshot initiatives in 2022 that provides more money for cancer research. Here is a trailer for that. I'm convinced that if all my aunts, my godmother, my grandparents would see, oh God, would have the opportunity to see a campaign like the ones on which I partner with the Black Women's Health Imperative. They would have a different outcome today. All right, so she posted that and said, woke up this morning feeling fulfilled and grateful after spending time with Flotus at White House to kick off an important cancer moonshot initiative and visiting Breast Care for Washington, a recipient of funding from my partners, Whole Logic, which provides screenings to women in need living in Ward 8 in D.C. I support Mary J. Blige. Don't care for the administration, but I support Mary J. Blige. Absolutely. All right, now, Ashanti, here we go, because I want to make sure we get this out for Angie Martinez's interview. Uh, So here is Ashanti talking to... 
uh, Angie Martinez about Herb Gotti? It wasn't surprising to me to an extent. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because I've accepted a long time ago that that's the person that he is. But now the world is seeing. What is that? Um, to me, like I said, I feel like Irv is like mentally not in a good place. You know, mm -hmm. you see people that have um, narcissistic ways, mm -hmm. you know, there is a difference between when men are hurt and when women are hurt mm -hmm. and how we um, carry that hurt and how long we carry that hurt. Yeah, because I got to imagine you've been hurt in this Absolutely. process. You know, and I'm not intentionally trying to disrespect people. You know what I'm saying? Do you think that's what he was trying to do? A million percent. Mm -hmm. All right. So there you have it. She definitely, interview. she definitely had a long runway to tell her story because, you know, she hasn't said anything. Right. This is the first time mm -hmm. she's really spoken on it. Yep. So well, yeah. she spoke on it back in the day in an old, 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 yeah, old and I saw that clip interview. resurfacing mm -hmm. as well. But, you know, she's, I guess, getting more in depth. I understand her whole thing, though, is just let me just ignore this whole thing and this whole person. But I guess she feels like now this is just too much. All right, and that is your rumor report. All right, now the People's Choice mixes up next. Get your request in. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Good morning.